whatever it is that uh, the dark part of us that we can use for good um, and, and also that voice that, uh, that is iconic but at the same time needs to be authentic and uh, it, it's, it's no use me kind of putting on some Christian way of version or, uh, or something like that like I have to find, find my own so it took it took a while I think I think just to take war was felt like kind of a work in progress but now that it's been established, there's not a whole lot I can do with it in terms of changing uh, tone or range. But, um, or at least not with Batman, but Bruce Wayne is a little bit more. But I like to bring a lot of Bruce into this into this iteration of Batman anyway. You know, I think it's important that he's a, a father first in this, in this world. So, um, and because of that, I think it brings emotion with it. Not least to this film, you know, which is just pure emotion. Well, that's the thing. I, mean, I want to get your feeling about the fight. I've seen the movie, and the fight, first of all, is incredible. That whole sequence where he's battling everybody. Yeah. But there's also a vulnerability I've sensed in Batman, like, in the sense of you know, this could be the end. I mean, like, this could really be the thing, like, Tuesday could be the end of all. I don't know if I'm imagining that or not. But no, I don't think you are. I don't think you are. And I think, I think you know, in a way, Batman and the rest of the Justice League us when we're as we're reacting to what happens at the end, you know. So um, obviously there's there's a moment there where uh, you know, all hope is lost, and it's uh, very upset, and not least just because they've lost their friend, you know. But I I believe that Batman has always uh, built the Justice League. And Superman, uh, and Superman is the ostensible leader, but he's just by like, far away the most powerful member. So. Um, Superman, I think they know that they're kind of screwed against an enemy like this. In your opinion, who would really win in a fight, Superman or Batman? I don't know if I can. <laughs> or you, or Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I think we, yeah. The last time I had that conversation, uh, I think there were some drinks involved. But that was a long time ago. Um, me and Jeremy, it depends. It looks like he's been working out recently. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I'm not so sure. Uh, it's, hard to, it's hard not to back Superman, isn't it? I mean, he's just so powerful. It's hard not to back Since, since uh, the Lego movies, you know, Will Arnett's Batman has been very, very comical in terms of the voice and sadness and emo things. So, how do you avoid yourself turning Batman's voice into a caricature? Because with an S voice, Batman has made that, that conscious decision. Well, that's what I was saying earlier about uh, uh, trying to find uh, an authentic voice. You know, that's, 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 that's a part of me. Not just people people think it's about, about putting on the Batman voice and just, you know, I'm Batman. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. But, um, Trying to trying to make it genuine and authentic is the real challenge, and also sounding something like how you'd imagine Batman is sound. But um, ready? I'm getting the bell. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I think that's how you avoid it. Yeah, keep it authentic, keep it real. All right, I'm gonna have to go, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.